welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Roxanne, the Tiny Taster, and today's recipe is a fantastic chicken pot pie. So this is a really simple recipe and it is different from a traditional pie. You're not making a crust, you're not making a base, you're not demolding it, you're using store-bought puff pastry and you're also cooking it in the same dish that it is served in. So it's very, very simple. Feel free to switch it up. You can swap chicken for vegetables, uh, mix up the seasonings, you can make it your own. This is just a base recipe. As always, I will put a link in the description box to my blog and it'll have an entire blog post with the written recipe and all the ingredients and measurements so you can refer to that as well link in the description box don't forget that as always if you like this video please give it a big fat thumbs up leave me a comment subscribe to the channel and of course share it with all your friends so without any further ado let's get cooking start by melting butter in a pan and then adding some flour to that and whisking it into a roux you need to continuously whisk this and once it starts to mix together add in either water or chicken stock i prefer chicken stock usually you would make a roux with milk you could even do that to have like a thicker sauce and make it almost like a white sauce but I think chicken stock adds much more flavor. So you'll just keep whisking this and don't be scared if you see lumps, they do form. You just keep whisking it away on a slightly lower flame till you have absolutely no lumps and you get your base for the sauce. To this sauce, you will add in your vegetables. I add in my chopped carrots first because they just take a little bit longer to cook down so I'll add in the chopped carrots and after about say two or three minutes I'll add in boiled potatoes I cook the potatoes beforehand because this takes forever to cook so I strongly suggest that you boil them you could boil the carrots and other vegetables as well um, but I didn't I just think they'll cook nicely so cook the carrots for two three minutes add in your boiled potatoes and then I like to add in some frozen peas um, you could use fresh as well but then you would have to boil that uh, these are just base vegetables you can mix and um, match with whatever you like you could add mushrooms you could add leeks you could add french bean um, you could add bell peppers whatever works for you this is just a classic recipe and once this is all cooked down for another say five to seven minutes you'll add your main or hero ingredient which is boiled shredded chicken this is cooked chicken it is not raw so i actually do this um when i boil the chicken i make nice chicken stock so that's the stock that i use in the recipe as well and then i just use the shredded chicken i just shred it with a fork now you will notice that i also added a little bit more stock because i wanted more sauce sometimes if it's too thick and you want to thin it out you can add more sauce if it's too thin your sauce and you want to thicken it then add a little bit more flour um, you could do either which ways and mix it all together to get this nice pie mixture seasoning wise i've just added pepper you can add freshly cracked pepper or pepper powder i have not added any salt because there was ample salt in my chicken stock and my chicken so i didn't think it needed more but you can taste if you feel that it needs a little bit more salt please go ahead and add that you can also mix it up and add maybe cumin or some spice but this is a traditional recipe so i've left it as is just a little bit of pepper to season and we're halfway through this recipe now while your pie filling is cooling, um, what I like to do is I like to use store-bought puff pastry. This is where it's different from a traditional pie because I don't make the dough and roll it out. I'm just using nice store-bought puff pastry to give it that flaky crust. Um, I've used a pastry roll so I've just flattened it out and um, evened it out with a rolling pin, not too much. And then I take what the bowl that I'm going to use for the pot pie and I just place it on top of the pastry pastry dough and then with a knife I cut around it but I don't cut right at the edge I leave a little bit of a gap as you can see to cut all the way around so that you get this covering or the pie covering for your pot pie but it has to be slightly bigger than the dish that you're actually serving it in because you want to cover it completely so just measure and make sure that the filling or the covering is a little bit bigger than your pot pie and you're ready to go this is the fun part you just fill up your pot 
with all that chicken sauce mixture this is the filling you can fill as much or as little as you like i would fill it about three fourths full um, just so that you get enough for one serving and of course you could use any um bowl or any casserole dish or anything that is oven proof but ideally these are single portions so you want to use a small bowl and then once you have filled this up very very gently place the pie covering or the puff pastry that you had cut out over this and you need to seal it down so this is why we've cut a little bit larger than the actual size of the dish you press it down gently so that it sticks completely and it's sealed it almost becomes like this little envelope or this little bag that is covering the entire pot or the entire casserole dish and you're almost there the last bit before it goes into the oven is to really brush this with butter please use a brush it's much easier i used a knife and just spread it all around the thing is the puff pastry because this is store bought and you want it to fluff up nicely you want it to get a nice golden tinge you don't want to burn it but at the same time you want this is raw you want to cook it so it needs enough of fat um, some recipes also use an egg white wash but I think butter is nicer it just gives it a nice golden sheen and now you'll pop this in your oven at about 180 degrees for say five to six minutes I would suggest that you check at each interval maybe start at five minutes and then see if it needs more if it's got enough color because i made this recipe thrice and i ended up burning it the first two times so check on your oven timing and this is what it should look like when it comes out nice and brown and crusty on top it's nice this nice covering and how you eat it is you just sort of dig into it you cut through that puff pastry and you scoop out all that lovely pie and that's it your traditional little pot pie is all ready i hope you've enjoyed this recipe as always don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys very very soon